need to talk. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Vol to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us... I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in... It means you're a slave. No, I wasn't sacrificed. We should keep moving. Played, friend. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Weird. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a buck. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. Got up to fight, back to back, but... Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you then? Oh dear, oh dear, well that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt actually, full of traps and corpses and... Nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. There like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give it. Best of luck. Do check. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece and the prophet left unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the... Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection.
freedom! I remember this feeling. It will be fleeting, though, if Molog Val has his way. Thank the Divines, you are safe. There is that, at least. Jera sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost, even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the Anchor. The Anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these Anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Up the stairs, quickly! We must get to the anchor. The dark anchor mooring. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chain. Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lawfen, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the Sky Shard. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Val be denied! Hurry! We must go now! The vestige awakens once again. Come here. We must see. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a place with the smell of burning ash on a hot wind and the sounds of a distant battle. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Vol looms across all Tamriel, 
and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path.